small shop owner has buyed in the Santa or in any right bazaar. Ek hi jaya pani ke. Those type of plastics are known as thermosetting plastics. Comparison, there are three types. Up, down, right, left. I am not inferior to anyone. We are Clara. We are top on the hour. Congratulations. I want to be a leader. Hi Sparrows, this is Sai Priya Sparrow from 8th standard from Dharmaram B. Ok Sparrows, if you go to your supermarket, the, if you go to your supermarket, the shopkeeper give the provisions in the plastic, bo plastic bag. So friends, polythene bag, the polythene bag is made up of plastic. So friends, what is this? Yes, it is a plastic. Okay friends, what is a plastic? Plastic is a polymer like many synthetic fibers. Monomer, each small unit in the polymer is known as monomer. Polymer, many and many small identical units. Monomers combine to form a large unit called polymer. Poly means many and mer means unit. Polymer means many units. Friends, do you know what is a plastic? Okay, plastic is a polymer like many synthetic fibers. Okay friends, what is a polymer? Polymer means, first let me discuss about monomer. Monomer means each small identical unit in a polymer is known as monomers. See friends here, it is a long chain. In this chain, we have each bead. See friends here, each small unit is called as monomer. Each small unit is called as monomer. Friends, mono means single and unit means part. So friends, monomer means single unit. Ok friends, understood? Now, polymer. Polymer means many small identical units form a large unit is called as polymer. See friends here, these these small identical units formed a large unit. It is called polymer. Friends, poly means many and mer means units. Polymer means many units. What is polymer? Polymer means many units. Ok Sparrows, understood what is polymer and what is monomer? Ok Sparrows, friends, do you know types of plastics? Ok friends, see there are two types of plastics. The first one is thermoplastic and the second one is thermosetting plastic. Friends, here types of plastic. Plastics are divided into two types, thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic. Thermoplastic gets changed when heated. Thermosetting plastic does not change the shape when heated. Examples, comb, polythene bags, etc. And for examples of thermosetting plastics are bakelite and melamine. Friends, what is thermoplastics? Thermoplastic get deformed when heated. But thermosetting plastic does not change their shape when heated. So friends, let us discuss about first thermoplastic. Plastics which get deformed easily on heating and can be bent are known as thermoplastic. Friends, Thermoplastic means it is easily deformed. For example, combs, polythene bags, etc. See friends here, it is a plastic bottle. When we crush this bottle, it will change its shape. So it is a thermoplastic. Now friends, do you understand what is thermoplastics? Now let us see the examples. See friends here. These are the examples of thermoplastic. The first one is combs. The second one is toys. The third one is polythene bags. And the fourth one is 
PVC pipes. Friends, observe here. Colorful combs, toys, polythene bags, PVC pipes, etc. Friends, these are the examples of thermoplastic. Friends, some more examples. Colorful toys, pens, brushes and some zips. These are also the examples of thermoplastics. Friends, see here. It is a toy. It is a, an example of thermoplastic. And see this. It is a comb. It is, a, it is an example of thermoplastic. Friends, do you observe? Do you know about thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic? Now, let us discuss about thermosetting plastics. Friends, what is thermosetting plastic? Plastics which molded once cannot be softened by heating are called thermosetting plastics. Friends, thermosetting plastic cannot change their shape. So, they are called thermosetting plastics. For example, bakelite and melamine. For example, examples of bakelite are switchboards and handles of utensils, telephones, etc. See friends here, it is a handle of bakelite. It, it is a handle of utensil. It, this handle was made by bakelite. And see friends here, it is a telephone. It is made up of bakelite. See friends, observe, it does not change uh, its shape. Now, melamine. Melamine means Melamine is a type of thermosetting plastic. For example, this meals plate. It is a meals plate. It is made up of melamine. And friends, see here friends, it is a keyboard. And it is made up of melamine. Okay, Sparrows, do you understand? Me examples of thermosetting plastics? See friends here, examples of thermosetting plastic we have learned, bakelite and melamine. Ok Sparrows, see here these are the articles made of bakelite, telephone, switchboard, handles of utensils etc. These are the examples of bakelite. Friends, why, be, why are these are examples of thermosetting plastic? Because they are did not change their shape and they are not remoldable. So they are examples of thermosetting plastic. And see friends here, these are the articles made up of melamine. See friends here, it is the it is the articles made up of melamine and meals plate, computer cabinets. Observe friends here. These are the articles made of melamine. Now friends, do you understand types of plastics? Yes, see friends here. Ty plastics are divided into two types. Thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic. Thermoplastics are... Thermosetting, thermoplastics are get changed when heated. For example, Pens, toys, combs, etc. And thermosetting plastic. Thermosetting plastic does not change the shape when heated. For example, bakelite and melamine. In thermoplastic, we have linear arrangement of monomers. So it, it will get deformed easily. And thermo, in thermosetting plastics, we have cross-linked arrangement of monomers. So it does not deform easily when heated. So friends, do you underst understand what is thermoplastic and what is thermosetting plastic? Ok friends, we generally use it plastic. Friends, do you observe the recycling code? Yes friends, we have some recycling codes on this. See friends here, this is the recycling code. code. These are the recycling code. It is in in triangular shape. See friends here. Ok Sparrows. Do you observe here recycling code? Ok. Now Sparrows. See here. It is also a recycling code. C 
See friends here, it is in triangular shape. It is in triangular shape. It is a recycling code. See friends here, it is a recycling code. Okay friends, do, do you observe recycling codes? Okay Swaros, now what is recycling? Let us know. See friends here, recycle. In this process, we can obtain a new substance from the old plastics. Recycling can be used to obtain materials from which the original products were be made. Friends, re recycle means in this process we can obtain a new product. In this process we can obtain a new product. So, this is, this is called recycling. Okay friends, understood? Recycling means nothing but in this process we can obtain new, new products by old plastic. So, this is the recycling process. Okay friends, now let us discuss about uses of recycling process. Now, uses of recycling process. New products are prepared. Recycling prevents pollution. Recycling reduces the need for landfilling. Recycling helps to sustain environment for future generations. Friends, the uses of recycling course are the new products are prepared and recycling prevents the pollution. Understood friends? Are you following me? Okay friends, now let us discuss about the universal recycling symbol. See friends here, it is a universal recycling symbol. Observe it. It is a universal recycling symbol. It is a universal recycling symbol. Symbol. Okay friends, in this middle of this recycling code, we, we did not have the number. It is a universal recycling code. Okay friends, now let us discuss about recycling codes. Now, importance of recycling codes. Recycling codes are used to identify what kind of material is used for the preparation of an article by seeing the code at the bottom of the article. The Society of Plastic Industries, SPI, introduced its voluntary resin identification coding system in 1988 to assist recycling programs. Okay friends, these recycling codes are used to identify what kind of material is used for the preparation of an article. Okay friends, do you understand what are importance of recycling codes? Okay friends, do you know if the in recycling process, if the recycling codes are separate out and it will mean for recycling. If it is not, uh, same codes are recycled, the whole lot means for the spoil. So we should recycle the same code in same lot. Okay friends, now do you know who in which is the first time invented the recycling codes? Okay friends, the, the SPI coding system means Society of Plastic Industries introduced its voluntary resin coding identification system in 1988. In 1988. Okay friends, see here, we can observe here the recycling code. Here friends, here in under this bottle we can observe the recycling code. Here also we can observe the recycling codes. Friends, do you observe? Okay friends, observe it under your water bottles also. Friends, there are seven recycling codes. Do you know friends? There are seven recycling codes. The first one is PET and the second one is HDPE and the third one is V or PVC and fourth one is LDPE. And the fifth one is PP, the sixth one is PS and the seventh one is others. Do you understand friends how many recycling codes? There are seven recycling codes. Okay friends, now let us know the full forms of this recycling code. See friends here, the first recycling code. PET means polyethylene terephthalate and the second one HDPE means high density polyethylene and the third one PVC means polyvinyl chloride and the fourth one 
HDPE means low density polyethylene and the fifth one PP means polypropylene and the sixth one PS means polystyrene and the seventh one others and all other plastics. Friends, there are seven recycling codes. The first one is PET and the second one is HDPE and the third one is PVC and the fourth one is LDPE and the fifth one is PP and the sixth one is PS and the seventh one is all other plastics. Now friends, let us know about the examples of these codes. See friends here, number one plastics. Number one plastic. What is the number one plastic? PET. PET means polyethylene terephthalate. The polyethylene terephthalate is found in soft drink bottles, peanut butter jars, tote bags, medicine jars, soda bottles, combs, all out liquid containers. See here friends, here also we can observe the number one plastics. Observe here. Now friends here. See here friends, here we can observe the recycling code. In the middle of this recycling code, we have the number one plastic pet. Okay friends, do you observe? Now, see here friends, it is a number one plastic. It is pet. Pet means polyethylene terephthalate. Here, now, this is the all out liquid container. Here friends, here we can observe the first recycling code. Number one, PET. PET means polyethylene terephthalate. And see friends here, it is a syrup bottle. Here we can observe the number one plastic PET. PET means polyethylene terephthalate. See friends here, it is a Mouthwash contain, mouthwash liquid container. See friends here, we can observe the number one plastic PET. Friends, what is PET? PET is a polyethylene terephthalate. And friends, now let us know about the second one. Number two plastics are found in Boost, Bon Vita bottles, oil bottles, shampoo bottles, hand wash bottles, chemical storage bottles. Number two plastics are found in Boost and Bon Vita bottles, oil bottles, shampoo bottles, hand wash bottles, chemical storage bottles etc. See friends here we can observe the number two plastics, covers and some liquid containers. See friends here, see friends here. Here we can observe the number second recycling code HDP. It is the second recycling code. Observe friends. Now see here friends. It is also the second recycling code HDP. It is a shampoo bottle. Okay friends now. See here friends. It is a polythene cover. Here we can identify the number 2 code HDP. Understood friends? Okay. Okay friends here it is a number 2 syrup container. It is a HDP. HDP means high density polyethylene. It is a high density polyethylene. See friends here. Here we can observe that recycling code. Now, number third one, recycling code. See friends here, number three plastic. What is number three plastic? Yes, PVC. PVC means polyvinyl chloride. Polyvinyl chloride are found in pipe used in electrical circuits, flooring, children toys, etc. See friends here, here we can observe the number three plastics. Okay friends, observe it. Some electric containers, circuits, etc. See friends here, it is a PVC pipe. It is third code PVC. Okay friends, it is a PVC pipe. It is a 
third coat pvc means polyvinyl chloride now friends now fourth one fourth one which coat the fourth one is ldp friends ldp found in carry bags shopping bags plastic bags plastic buckets etc see friends here here we can observe the number two pla number four plastics ldp okay friends here see friends here here we can observe the number four plastic ldp okay friends this is the number four plastic ldp see friends here we can observe the fourth number ldp ldp means low density polyethylene okay friends do you understand four chords now the fifth one is pp pp means polypropylene now friends the number five plastics found in syrup bottles medicine bottles kitchenware shampoo bottles powder bottles etc syrup bottles medicine bottles and some powder bottles see friends here we can observe the number fifth coat plastics see here, sir, here are, friends here are some example here are some examples of number fifth coat see friends here it is a number fifth coat pp pp means polypropylene see friends here it is fifth coat pp okay friends now friends here here also we can identify the number fifth coat pp pp means polypropylene see friends observe it okay friends now here it is a jam box here friends here we can see the number fifth coat pp here friends see here it is pp means polypropylene now friends it is a powder box see friends here here we can observe the number fifth coat pp pp means polypropylene okay friends see here now friends do you know about number fifth coat now let us discuss about number sixth coat friends number six plastics are found in coffee cups plastic food bo boxes toys video cassettes flower pots etc number fifth six plastics are found in coffee cups plastic food boxes toys video cassettes flower pots etc see friends here here we can observe the number sixth plastics ps ps means polystyrene okay friends see okay friends see here it is a number fifth number sixth plastic ps ps means polystyrene see friends here it is a number fifth coat poly styrene now friends here do you know about numbers up to 1 to number 6 coats now friends now let us discuss about number 7th coat number 7 coats are found in baby milk bottles large water bottles compact disc and medical storage containers number 7 plastics are found in baby milk bottles large water bottles compact disc and medical storage containers see friends here here we can observe the number 7 plastics here see observe friends now friends see here it is a number 7 plastic here friends see here it is a recycling coat it is the seventh recycling coat in this middle of the seventh recycling coat we can uh, uh, observe here the seventh recycling coat okay friends understood now friends do you understood all the recycling coats okay friends see here once observe here these are all recycling coats it is the number one pet re recycling examples and these are the examples of second recycling coat 
and these are the examples of third recycling core and these are the examples of fourth recycling core and these are the examples of number fifth recycling cores. Friends see here these are the examples of number sixth core and these are the examples of number seventh core. Friends do you know advantages of plastic? Now let us discuss about advantages of plastic. Friends plastic is very light, strong, durable and can be molded into different shapes and sizes like milk bottles, water bottles, toys are etc are made. Plastics are generally cheaper than the metals. Friends, plastics are poor conductor of heat and electricity. Hence, they are used in electrical appliances and as handles of some utensils. Friends, plastic is very light. See friends here. Compare here. Friends, see friends here. Here we can observe it is a steel bottle and it is a plastic bottle. Friends here it is light in weight than this metal bottle. So friends plastics are very light in weight and friends they are strong. Friends if we broke the if we put the plastic uh, glass items down it will broke. If we down if we broke this item it will doesn't bro broke so it is a thermo it is a strong and they are very durable and friends plastics are molded into different shapes and sizes see friends here here it is molded as a boost bottle and here it is a molded as a some vaseline container and it is molded as some it is molded as a comb and these are the advantages of plastic. Friends, plastics are poor conductors of heat and electricity. So they are used as container handles of utensils and electrical switches. See friends here, here the handle of the utensils is covered by plastic because plastic is a poor conductor of electric heat and they are plastic is also help in switchboards because the switchboards are made with the plastic because plastic is a poor conductor of heat and electricity okay friends do you understand okay friends now friends now let us discuss about disadvantages of plastic friends do you understand the advantages of plastic now let us discuss about disadvantages of plastic. See friends here, plastics bags are eaten by some animals. Plastic bags are eaten by some animals and birds. These cause suffocation and indigestion or blocking of digestive tract. So friends and plastic causes the land pollution. Friends, plastics are eaten by some animals and it causes the death. Okay, so sparrows, we should reduce the usage of plastic. And friends, if we burn the plastic, it causes the air pollution. And if we throw the plastic, it causes the land pollution. So, there are so many disadvantages of plastic. So, friends, here we should reduce the Plastic. Friends, see, observe here. See, friends, here. The animal is eating the plastic cover. See, friends, here. See, this bit. See, friends, here. It is a. See, friends, here. It is. It is a plastic. Friends, here. The bird eats the plastics and the bird eat the plastic and it causes the death after the postmortem of this bird